I'm gonna put a, uh, some of this baby blue, just kind of dust it in this area and kind of create like a little bling. Make this piece pop a little bit. Get a little bit wet. I spent about 13 years of my life painting uh, graffiti and graffiti style art, uh, murals and big walls and stuff like that. And then uh, I also spent a lot of time uh, fabricating and making sculptures and I feel like they've kind of kind of come together. I really like kind of real punchy artwork, high impact, like high energy, dynamic. Uh, and a lot of that like kind of like street and uh, graffiti style artwork really has that uh, kind of like urban feel. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit more aggressive of a style. It's uh, for like high contrast and uh, a lot of complementary colors, lots of color, just, I don't know, really rich, you know, kind of, I don't know, I've been influenced a lot by like Chicano artwork as well. There's a lot of culture in Salt Lake City that a lot of people I don't ha think have access to. I think it exists kind of in pockets. Just because it is Salt Lake City, it's a little smaller city and things haven't kind of blossomed. But I mean, graffiti culture, I mean, it's, it's pretty mainstream right now. You can see it on television all over the place. So I think people are kind of seeing it and responding to it. But there's definitely a subculture that exists in Salt Lake City that's pushing things and trying new things. And I think it exists, it just might not be right on the surface. I think that it changes a lot when it's put on a canvas and stuff like that. I think in these aspects, it's more like a legal wall or like a legal mural or something that you can kind of spend some time on painting and fooling around with the colors and shapes and everything. Sometimes I'll, when I'm painting really fast, I'll get a bunch of areas that I'm really excited about and really good and then sometimes I'll really muddy up an area. And I've had a chance to not have to make such quick decisions, so I've had a little bit of time to spend which each of my decisions and kind of make corrections and not have to adjust or fix things as much. Like I think you kind of get to a point where you're like, man, I don't want to do any anymore. It's kind of a feeling you get, you know, I can kind of keep, there was actually a point where we felt like it was done before we even had kind of added the letters. We had this diamond in the center, those explosions kind of running every direction and it felt really good, but we kind of wanted to continue it. So we documented it and then kind of continue to paint. So sometimes that's scary because you might ruin the painting. Sometimes you might come up with something new. It's real exciting. I have so many big paintings just rolled up, st stuffed in my closet because they're so big, there's really nowhere to put them, you know? So I typically create them for a site. I cut this specifically for this panel, like this wall. It'd be nice to find a place to put it, but a lot of times it's too big, things can't house them. They don't really fit indoors. As you can see when we go inside, that one, the painting in there goes all the way up and curves up the wall. Just trying to kind of push these whites back a little bit. They're a little too hot. Got this kind of peach on there. I like to keep it pretty loose. There's a lot of drips and just kind of raw, I guess. You know, a, um, let me get rid of some of this red here. I think the medium dictates the style a lot in, in some ways just because the aerosol has such a specific look and kind of specific marks or lines and things that you can kind of create with it. It definitely has a different feel. And uh, this is all latex and acrylic, so it's just like latex house paint and then just kind of these uh, just uh, acrylic paints. I'm just trying to give people something just exciting to look at. You know, that was like when I was young, I go into big galleries and I see big bit badass paintings and just like exciting imagery. It just gets me stoked. And I'm like, oh, it makes you feel good. It's all visceral. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like, I feel that, you know, and that's a kind of similar thing I want to do in my art as well is just have, you know, create real visceral artwork that people can respond to and just enjoy.